Okay, in this short video, I'm gonna show you how to splice a three core rope to a chain so that you've got a nice anchor road and you can connect those. Um, the idea of this is it's gonna go nice and smoothly through an anchor windlass or through a fair lead at the front of your boat. It's really simple and won't take very long at all. First things first, I'm gonna lay my anchor chain. I'm gonna wrap it around the vise there, not tight. And I've got my other line coming from that way. Not particularly tight, but just secure enough to keep it straight. And I'm gonna secure my anchor chain to my workbench by putting a screw through there and just holding it in place so it can't move from that point. I'm gonna take my three strand. I'm gonna take probably two hand lengths and I'm just gonna untwist the strands. Just break them out like that. And the distance you go here will obviously denote how far you can go back. So I think that will be adequate for the amount of splice that I want. The next thing I'm going to do is just seal off the ends with a lighter, just so they all stay together. You can just use Bit of insulation tape around there as well. Okay once you've separated your three strands of your rope this time I'm going to wrap each end with just a bit of insulation tape just to keep the end strands together and it'll help poke through the other bits a bit easier. Next you're going to take your strands and with the end link of the chain, I'm going to push one through in one direction, and then the other two are going to go through the opposite direction. Should be made a bit easy by having the insulation tape on there. Okay, at every stage of you doing something, you need to pull it tight. Just pull each one through, and it will just tighten up on itself and lock in each one. The tighter it is, the better it will be for going through the windlass. Okay, so I'm gonna start on the side that's had the, the two poking through, and I'm gonna take my first line, and the basic idea is that you're gonna go over one, under one. So I'm going to loosen this rope up a bit by giving it a bit of a twist. You can use a tool for this, but to be honest with you, just using your fingers is going to be as easy. And then it's a case of pulling it through and at every stage, tighten it up. Then you find your next one and your over one and make a hole there and under one. And for your third one, you find the third hole that hasn't been gone through. And it's a case of, you guessed it, over one, under one. When you've done all three on the first one, start to pull them tight. Okay, so I'm putting the rope itself I'm putting tight and I'm also putting these three tight as I go. Right this is the second splice so it's tightened up and now I'm picking one and I'm going to go over this one and under this one. So it's just a twist and pass it through. Find the next one and that's over one that one under this one. So it's just working out a little bit of a pattern. And it doesn't really matter if you go off pattern anyway, it's still going to be very, very strong. And then the third one, twist around that way. And that one's going to go over that one. 
Pick it up. Okay, start to take shape. Again, pull it tight on the rope and on each one. Start to take shape. Okay, so then just go over and under, over and under um, until you've got, you probably only need about that much of a splice. I mean, this is absolutely solid and I've only gone through twice. There's no way that's gonna pull, but depending on the size of your boat you're using, You'll want it probably um, sort of length of your length of your fist long, and uh, then we'll just sort out the ends in a little bit. Okay, so keep going through, over and under, over and under, pulling it pulling it tight each time, and you will end up with a nice splice that looks pretty cool and is incredibly strong. The idea is to go through the windlass that it can't be any thicker than your anchor chain. Um, doesn't matter so much if you haven't got a windlass, but it has to be about the same diameter there. Right, to finish it off, I'm gonna take a sharp knife and I'm just gonna nip the ends off of these. Okay, so that, that's going to go absolutely nowhere, but if you did want to give it the belt and braces, hence why the light is here, you can just melt them down each of the ends. They'll just form a little sort of melted tough bit at the end, and that is going to go absolutely nowhere, and it'll be nice and secure for your boat. Takes no time at all, pretty simple. And to be honest, a little bit of rope work like that is never a bad skill to learn when you're gonna be out at sea. Not that you're gonna be doing it out at sea unless you're out for a long period of time. Um, but I think it looks quite smart and it's an easy little job. You can use them to secure buckets or use them as lanyards or whatever you want. Just put the handle of whatever you want through there. So I'm gonna start making my way through my own boat and start leaping up the the knots and the rope work, I think. Happy days.